Thanks for joining us. I'm Anna Redis Rodriguez with the WBZ News Update. Overnight, a 16-year-old boy was killed and a 15-year-old was hurt in a double shooting in South Boston. First responders arrived to the scene around 11.30 Monday night. Police are still looking for the suspects and are asking anyone with information to come forward. Cambridge police have found a stolen backhoe. They say damaged several parked cars overnight. Neighbors called in a noise complaint around 4 this morning. Police then found five damaged cars along Ridgedale and Hubbard Avenues. Authorities later found the stolen construction equipment near Avon Hill Street, but are still looking for who may be responsible. Former White House Communications Director Anthony Scaramucci has resigned from an advisory board at Tufts University. In a message to students this morning, the school says Scaramucci resigned from the Fletcher School of Law's Board of Advisors effective immediately. Scaramucci was scheduled to speak at the Fletcher School last night, but the event was canceled after he threatened to sue a graduate student and the student newspaper over a critical op-ed column. We turn our attention to the weather. Meteorologist Pamela Gardner is here, and it was really cold this morning. It was. Temperatures bottomed out in the teens and 20s, but slowly we're going to see a warming trend. Today, temperatures will go into the low 40s, mostly sunny skies, but we don't stop. Overnight, we'll be either steady or slowly rising, as temperatures will be in the 40s. Then by tomorrow, we'll be in the mid 50s. Beautiful day for midweek. There's a chance for a brief shower as a cold front passes through, but we're keeping it dry for most of Wednesday into Thursday, back down to the 40s for Thursday into Friday. Anna Redis. All right, Pamela, thank you. I'm Anna Redis Rodriguez. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a good day.